So what we're looking at here is this is the lab machine in the top left corner and this is the camera feed from the lab. Um, and what I'm demonstrating is uh, today's work where I've been able to um, enable asynchronous control of the uh, controller. Now, I haven't properly integrated this with the GUI yet, but um, just wanted to demonstrate the API working. So this relay server is doing both serial and um, and the controller communications, which is pretty important for what we want to do. Um, and now I can send commands. So one of the other things too is I've added this help thing, which um, when I do that, it uh, lists out all the commands I can send. So um, for example, I can, actually I won't do any of these, I'll do something a bit more fun. I've created some custom commands. So here's one of them. Um, random dance. So this sends random coordinates to the motors and as you can see we get full synchronous control of all the motors which is fantastic. Um, and then if we want to go back to uh, the default position, what we need for our experiment, we can do datum reset I think I called it and that brings all the motors back to where they need to be. Now uh, I should also mention that today I've had issues with both group one and group four. I think I know the reason why group one wasn't working and I think I can fix that, but group four, which is this one here, um, I can't home it. So that's a bit of a problem and we're going to have to do something physical to fix that. Anyway, that's the, um, the demo for today. Uh, I can send any of these normal commands that about, uh, that are meant to go to the controller, but I can also, you know what, I'll do the serial command as well. Um, let me just pause the video. Oh, no, I forgot the video. Let's see if I can find the command. Get optical power meter reading. So let's get a reading from, from our power meter. So it's just taken that, and over here we got the reading. So that's the mean and standard deviation from the meter at the moment. Now it's not set up properly, but it's taking some reading based on the ambient light. So that is what we have today. Tomorrow I'm intending to connect this to the GUI.